Okay. Okay, hi everybody. Um, my name is Chelsea and I'm with Shine Sticker Studio and it's a mother-daughter business and we're located in Arkansas. And uh, if you guys have gotten our products at Michael's, you can read our little blurb about us on the back if you'd like. But basically, um, when I was in college, I got into planning <laughs> hardcore and me and my mom were both really artsy. So we decided to start designing stickers for planners and we opened up our shop together and this month will be five years of our business. So <laughs> we're so excited and this is like perfect timing because we just launched new sticker books at Michael's. And I'm going to be using these today to do a planner spread in my recollections planner. And you guys can kind of plan along with me. But um, I did want to mention that all the supplies I'm using, uh, all of the supplies like these, these are from Michael's. But um, you guys can use other stuff. You don't have to like do everything that I'm doing. I just kind of wanted to plan and you guys can follow along and it'll be fun. So whenever we're ready, if we could switch the camera around. Okay, great. So I'm kind of reading the comments a little bit, but I'm going to try to focus on this. So if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the chat. And I also wanted to mention that this is being recorded. So if you want to watch the replay, uh, it's going to be available on YouTube. So if you need to leave, don't worry, you can watch it later on Michael's YouTube channel. So I'm going to be using this Recollections Vertical Weekly Planner. And this is a new one from Michael's. And let me just quickly show you like, here's a monthly page. This is what the monthly looks like. So the weekly you can see is vertical. And I did cut off the tabs and put my own on there. So if you get this planner at Michael's, it won't have these tabs. <laughs> but I'm going to just open to a random page. Let's, I guess we could select April since it is April, but this is April. <laughs> 2022 so <laughs> i'm gonna do a fake planner spread with you guys so uh now our new sticker books at michael's come in five different themes i'm gonna be using these three but i wanted to tell you guys you could use whichever ones i mean all of these have our artwork and it's all a collaboration with Craftsmith, which Craftsmith is super awesome. And they do a really great job of coordinating everything. So you could totally mix and match all of these. I think the colors go really well together, but I'm gonna be using this slumber party one and then wild 90s, which is probably my favorite because I'm a 90s baby. Shout out to all the fellow 90s babies. <laughs> and then um, we have this panda rainbow one. And this one's really bright and fun and cute too. So these two have a hollow foil detail. And this one actually has gold foil. So that's kind of cool. So I probably won't mix and match the foils too much but the colors of everything go really well together. So I'm gonna start with this slumber party sticker book and I'm gonna be using the date covers in here first. So that's usually what I start with. I find the stickers that have the days of the week and I'm gonna lay those down first because it, it just gives me a base to start with Okay, here they are. So I'm gonna start with Monday and there's plenty of room up at the top. So you could put washi and stuff up here too, if you wanted. And I'm gonna try not to be shaking too much. <laughs> okay. 
I love these. They're the perfect size. So I always start with either laying down my date covers or my washi because it usually goes like on the top or bottom and it kind of gives me a good starting point where I don't really have to think a whole lot about what I'm going to do. <laughs> and then once I have these stickers down, it kind of gives me a guide because I like to do a thing called color blocking. And that's basically where I will try to pick colors that match the date cover for each day, for each column. That way it kind of gives it like a cohesive look overall. Um, I mean, you don't have to do that. It could totally look cohesive. Um, even if you do like a bunch of different colors, as long as your colors are repeating throughout. But um, I just like the way color blocking looks. So now that I have my date stickers down, I know that pretty much all the stickers I want to put in this column, I'm going to do pink, yellow, green, and so on. All right, so I've got that. And now I'm going to start on Monday. And I like to save the sidebar for last. That's what this is. And I usually do like a habit tracker or a weekly sticker that I can write in my meals. But I'm looking for pink stickers for Monday. So really, this is all I do. Whenever I plan, I just like pull out all my stickers and I just flip through them. And so I remind myself, okay, I want pink. I want pink. And then when I find a pink sticker and I'm like, ooh, this would be good, I'll lay that down. Ooh, I do like this one that says I love the 90s. And it does have a little bit of pink in it at the bottom. Or maybe that's kind of orangey. But I'll go ahead and use this because I want to show you guys how you can kind of tie it all in, even if your colors aren't fully color blocked, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to stick that down. And you could cover up these little headers if you want. I might do that some. Okay, now I'm going to see if I can find a checklist box because I like to have a decorative full box and then I do a to do box with a checklist and then down here I do like extra stuff for the day like special appointments and things like that. So I'm going to look for a check box and ooh, I could do this big one and span it across two pages but I don't think that's what I want to do. This is the panda one. And I, I love these washies because you could put this down at the bottom and it's washi, it's decorative, but also there's lines on it. So you could write stuff in there and journal. Okay, I'm kind of popping around. Ooh, I like the way that looks. That one with the heart and the foil. Maybe I'll do that one, okay. So I'm just going to stick this down and this is going to be where I'll put in my um, to do's for the day. So you could write up here to do's or some of these actually have stickers that say to do like these. There's so much fun stuff in these books and there's different paper types as well. That's something I should have mentioned and I should have showed you the supplies I'm using besides the stickers. But I guess I'll show you that in a little bit when I start writing. Okay. Ooh, I like these long checklists. These are so cool. Okay, so like on a super busy day, I would probably use one of these because that's a lot of to-dos. So I might save that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to grab another pink box. And I love this one. <laughs> And I'm gonna stick this down here. And I like this one because it's empty. 
so I can write stuff in here. Like this one's just decorative. I can't put anything in there really, but this one I'm gonna keep empty and I can write in stuff that happens on Monday. So now I'm gonna move on to Tuesday. And sometimes I will keep up this sort of pattern. I'll do another decorative box over here and then here. I'll do my checklist all across here. But then sometimes I will switch it up and I'll do like check my checklist up here and then down here. So it just depends on how I'm feeling that day. But I really like this box here with the little flag and that yellow matches perfectly. I don't know if you guys can see that. And this is from a different sticker book because the date covers I used were from the slumber party. So uh, it matches. That's what I love about these sticker books. You can totally mix and match them together and make a spread that looks super cute. Okay, I want to see if I can maybe. Chelsea, we have a question. Okay. Uh, so Leslie asked, uh, which type of designs for her Shine Sticker Studio are your specialty and which are your mom's? Oh, okay. That's a really great question. So um, both me and my mom draw things for our shop and um, my character is Luna. That's Luna. And she comes in two skin tones. So sometimes you'll see her together like this, which really looks like two different characters, but she's the same because we offer her um, in two skin tones in our shop. And then my mom, she draws Star the Unicorn. And that star right there, she's got a little star on her booty. <laughs> So uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun drawing all this stuff and some of it we both do together. So it's just a really fun collaboration and we get to do this stuff every day. I can't believe it. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> so that was a really great question. Now I'm going to stick this down and um, maybe I'll put it down here and I'll make this be my little checklist. So maybe I can find a to-do sticker to put there. I gotta remember to try to show you guys what I'm looking at. <laughs> okay, ooh, I could use these remember or don't forget. Maybe I'll use this remember because it's yellow. So that matches my column. So there's gonna be a lot of white space so far, um, but I always go back and add like deco stickers and stuff like that. So like this whole page, this is all deco stickers and it's really great for filling in a lot of blank space in your planner pages. So now I wanna find a really good decorative full box that has yellow, ooh, I could use that because that's got yellow. It's not a full box sticker, but that's okay because you don't, you kind of want to have variety in your planner. It's going to make it more eye-catching. So I'm going to put that down. And now I've got this big old bullseye in the middle of my planner and it's going to grab my attention and I'm going to look at it and I'm going to see all the stuff I got to do that day. So it's helpful and it's really cute. <laughs> okay, let me move on and do Wednesday. So I'm looking for green stuff and there's a lot of green stuff in here. This green is a little bit more vibrant, but that's totally fine. It will still work. Ooh, I like these long checklists. I think I might do that. Chelsea, we also have another question. Okay. Um, what has been your all time favorite Luna sticker you've drawn? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a really good question. You know, okay, I will probably say that it's going to be this collection, the Shine Bright. 
because this little Luna unicorn was probably like one of the first drawings I did of her. And then I love this one where uh, Luna and Star are together and Luna's got her little unicorn horn. I just think that's so cute. So that's probably my favorite, <laughs> but I love unicorns and rainbows. <laughs> Anything like kawaii, that's totally my style. Ooh, look how good this looks. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this up here. And that takes up quite a bit of space, you can see. So I would use that like on a really busy day that you have. So I've got some pandas in here and I can tie it all together later by putting like more pandas in other areas. And there's lots of rainbows in here. I could sprinkle throughout my pages as well. Okay. I'm gonna try to find a decorative sticker that maybe I could write in a little bit because this is all gonna be to-dos and I need something if, in case I have like an appointment that comes up. Ooh, how about this? Yeah, this is good. I like this whole page right here because these are all functional. So see that green matches and it just kind of ties it all in a little bit. And then if I have an appointment or whatever, I have plenty of space to write that in. So I've done Monday through Wednesday, I'm gonna flip over. And Thursday, I need some blue stickers. So ooh, I really like that boba tea, that panda boba tea. That is so cute. <laughs> okay, I think I want to use that, but I don't know. Let me, I should keep looking because there's so much stuff in here. And I love, I love this whole page of Panda character stickers. That is so cute. Oh, I, I'm looking at the chat. Somebody says there might not be, there might be people who don't know what washi is. So yeah, I'm using a lot of these terms because I expect mostly everybody to know, and I'm sorry, I should specify it. Like this is washi. So washi is just basically a long sticker or it comes in a little roll and it's like a tape and you can lay that down. And it's really great for planner pages. You know what? I might use one of these big pandas because it's blue. So I'm just gonna put that up here. And you know what would be really cute? Like draw a little talk bubble and put in like how I'm feeling that day. So I like to think about things like that. Like how can I make my decoration be something functional at the same time. Okay, now I might put this down. Chelsea, we have another question. Okay. Um, do you do your whole planner when you get it once a year or do you do it uh, as you go each month or week? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Um, they wanna know if you, um, you do, do your whole, do you do like your whole planner? Like do you plan um, once a year or do you go as you, like? Um, oh, okay. So each um, month a week. So usually I plan as I go. So like I'll start for the week, I'll start on the Sunday prior and get my planner kind of set up. And then throughout the week, I'll write stuff in. I'll put down more stickers to fill up the page if I need to. But um, I don't really plan in advance a whole lot because it's something that I enjoy doing. I like laying down all the stickers and coordinating everything. So I feel like if I were to sit down and plan in advance, like my future self would be mad at me because <laughs> I, I would be like, oh no, now I can't plan because I already did it. And so I like to save it <laughs> so I can do it and enjoy it every single week, if that, <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use this big, 
I love the 90s. Even though I already used a sticker that says I love the 90s, I don't care. Um, <laughs> this is my planner and, you know, it's not like I'm going to be graded on it. I just want it to be cute and make me happy so that I will use it. And that's the goal. So do you. Now, I'm going to make this be my little to-do list. Let's see. How do I want to do that? You know what would be cool? If I could use these and write my to-dos on that. Make like a little rainbow. I don't know. I like to try different things so it's not boring. And then in here I can write to do and then I've got a little checklist going. So that's Thursday and now I'm going to move on to Friday. And that is a purple color. So let's see what can I find that's purpley, you know, one of those long checklists. Yes, I like these. <laughs> um, because I did that on the other side of my planner, I did one over here. So I'm going to try to do one on this side too. And that's another little tip that I can give you guys. Um, if you want to try to like have a balanced look, you got to be mindful of that. Like what you do on one side, you want to try to repeat over here. Maybe not exactly the same because you don't want it to be boring, but you want it to kind of be balanced out because if you have a lot going on over here and then it's not the same over here, it's not going to be visually balanced. So trying to repeat that long checklist. And now I want to see if I can get a deco sticker in there. And I'm looking for purple. So these are really functional, these little quarter boxes. You could write in, you know, to do or today, whatever, but you could also put it down and then uh, pair it with a deco sticker. And I'll probably be doing that some. Let's see. I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So instead of making this a header, like if I had just something random happen that day, let me grab my little panda book. Oops, where are those little pandas? <laughs> Here they are. Like say I did a whole lot of cleaning that day and I just wanted to note that in my planner that I was a really big cleaner and I'm so awesome so I'm going to use this little header and then I can stick this down on top of that and then I can write in oh I cleaned a whole lot today or whatever maybe not all of that because I don't think that would fit but you get what I'm saying you can use these however you want in a functional way and that's what I love about these so I'm going to see if there's maybe like a little half box here. So for those of you that don't know what a half box is, it's basically going to be like half the size of one of these boxes. So one of these would be really good, but I'm trying not to mix and match my foils, like the hollow with this gold. I don't know. I don't think it would look bad, but I'm just, I'm trying to be mindful of that. So maybe I'll grab this because it doesn't have as much foil on it. And it says slumber party and it's so cute. Slumber party is probably one of my favorite collections. I love it. Okay, so I've done Friday. Now when I get to Saturday and Sunday, um, it might start out a little bit different because I like to put in a weekend sticker and each of these books, I'm not sure if all of them do, but they have weekend stickers in them. So you can like lay down a little weekend flag if you want to mark the weekend. 
Let's see if I can find one here. Um, and when I was teaching, I used to be an art teacher. And so the weekend was like a super big deal to me now. And now it's just every day I, I work. So <laughs> I don't really think about it in terms of work week versus weekend. I just kind of work every day when I can. And it's not a huge deal, but I still like to put down a weekend sticker because it's, it's just fun. You know what? I could even use one of these. There are weekend stickers in here. I'm just not here. They are weekend, see? Or you could do like a blank one and write in whatever you want. Um, hmm, what do I want to do? Um, I'm going to use this little blank flag. And maybe I'll write, I'll do some hand lettering or something and write weekend up at the top. Just, I don't know. I think it's cute. Look how cute that just jazzes that up a little bit. It makes it cute. And it kind of like visually sections off those two days for you so that you know, like, okay, that's the weekend. I mean, I know, you know, it's the weekend, but <laughs> it just helps. I don't know. Plus it looks good. So uh, both Saturday and Sunday are pink. So I might try to find like two different shades of pink. I really do like these to do stickers right here. Even though that's not pink, um, a rainbow is a reoccurring theme and color scheme amongst all of our sticker books. So rainbow does apply. <laughs> Now on the weekend, I probably won't have a whole lot of to do's. So I'm fine with just doing this small little space and then filling the rest in with deco and stuff like that. So let's see, like maybe it might be somebody's birthday. You could use a birthday sticker. There's so much in these books. It's, it's unreal. And every time I look at them, I find something different that I could use. And I really like these because it's plain enough. You can write in there if you want, but it's still got like those little dots. So it makes it cute. <laughs> okay, let me check the Panda book again. Now, maybe on the, on Saturday, I have something kind of special going on. So if I could find like a sticker that says important, that would be really good. I thought I saw one, but I'm not seeing it now. These little clouds would be cute to fill in some space as well. So let's see, I might use this little hack box here with the little panda and rainbow. And I'm gonna put that down at the bottom. If you don't know where to start, it's always best to start from the bottom <laughs> and work your way up. Just trust me. I love this page of all these quote stickers. So that's something too, like if you have a day that's not very busy at all, you could put in like a little decorative sticker like this. So maybe on Saturday we'll do something super fun and I should put down this sticker that says, have a magical time. And these are clear, which is so awesome. You could lay like layer that with something. I don't know, I was gonna put it here, but I want to show you guys how you can layer this. So all you want to do is try to find a sticker that has like, you know, a blank space for you to do that. How about, you know, I saw one. And I'm trying to find pink because I'm remembering my color blocking that I'm doing but it's 
Definitely not something that you have to do. Let's see. Ooh, well, here we go. Maybe that will fit. I don't know. I could turn it sideways, but then it wouldn't fit in my columns exactly. And I don't know that. I think that might bother me. So I'm not going to do that. But if you're the type of person that would not bother you, go for it. There's no rules. You can turn your sticker sideways if you want. It's not going to hurt anybody. <laughs> uh, you know, that might look cool. Let me see this. If I put this down and leave a little bit of room below it, because this won't fit directly, will it? Well, it might. Or I could do it like that. Let me see. Ooh, okay. I kind of like that. That looks cute. Okay. <laughs> probably spent too much time on that one sticker, but that's okay. Sometimes that, that is how it goes. So I do have like a little bit of space here. Um, that's what like little quarter box stickers are good for. You can just stick that down. And then later if I'm like, oh gosh, I gotta go do that on that day. Boop, I've got a spot for it right there. I might leave that blank and do deco later. Okay, moving on to Sunday. So Sunday is usually pretty busy-ish. I do a lot of cleaning and stuff. I really like this boba sticker right here. So I think I might stick that one down. And you know, I'm just gonna stick it right here. So you don't have to follow these guides that are printed on here if you don't want to. So I'm just gonna lay over the top and cover it up and you can't even see it, it's totally fine. Okay, since Sunday is pretty busy with cleaning and preparing for the following week, I'm gonna use this long checklist and stick that down here. So I have plenty of room to write in my to do's for the day. And I think I'm going to see if I can find a to do sticker in here. Let's see. Oh, yay, we have some. So I'm going to do pink since my column is pink here. Ta -da. Okay, so I think I might stop there. I'm going to leave this little spot here so I can put decorative stuff in later. And I'm going to move on to the sidebar. That's what this is for. And everybody uses this differently. I like to put in a habit tracker. So let's see if I can find one of those. A habit tracker is something you can use to write in what you wanna do like every day that week or, or something that you try to do often. And then when you complete it for that day, you just check off that day of the week. So maybe I should put down a a decorative sticker first though. You know what I love? I love these long stickers. Ooh, do I wanna use that? I don't know. Okay, I guess I could. And then maybe I could like layer on top of it. Yeah, let's do it. Cause this is so cute and like it just instantly fills up the space. So maybe, should I pull it here or all, I don't know. Oh, the decisions. Okay. So <laughs> I've placed that down and you could totally just journal in this whole space if you want. But like I said, I like to track stuff and, and make it functional. So I'm gonna put in my habit tracker so that I can track 
my workouts. And then I also like to track like social media posts and stuff like that because it's very important when you have a business you got to keep up with that and I'm not that great at it I'm trying to be better so using a little habit tracker helps me it helps me get better at it so it's cute it's functional and it's going to make my life better so why not so I've got two different styles of habit trackers but that's okay. It's cute. There's no rules. <laughs> so just have fun with it. Like no one's grading your planner, you know? And that's another thing. Uh, I had somebody message and ask it like before the class, they asked me if they have to use this type of planner. You don't, you could use any planner that you like and just get creative with it. But the stickers in these books are sized to fit a standard vertical planner. And that's what this is. So it works best with a planner like that, but you could totally use it for, uh, you could use any planner that works for you. Now, let's say, ooh, see now, if I was going on a vacation, this would be great for the sidebar because then it's not gonna take up a day throughout my week. It's just off to the side. I got my packing list right here. I like that. See, I did not even know that was in here. I knew this was a checklist, but I never read that before. And now I know I have a checklist for packing. That's so cool. I just always find something new with these. It's so much fun. So I'm looking for a weekly box and a weekly box looks like, kind of like a full box like this, but it'll say Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and you can write in your meals. So I'm not finding one right now and I might just have to make one or I could just skip writing in my meals. Oh, that's cute. This one here with like the little scalloped foil. I like stickers like this that are just like, it's just a box. It's cute, but I can write anything in there. So I could actually write my meals in this box if I wanted to. And I'm just gonna layer that on top. So like if I was meal planning my dinners, I could write in dinners and then every day of the week, write that down. Okay, I don't have a lot of space right here. Maybe I should do just like a little checklist, like a half box checklist, because sometimes I have to do's for the week that don't really have like a specific day they need to be done. I just need to kind of get it done. And so putting them on the sidebar is a great way to do that. So it's out of the way not assigned to a particular day. Ooh, maybe like one of these. So a lot of times what I like to do with the sidebar, if I'm picking colors, I'll look and see what's on this side. Like I've got pink over here, I've got pink here. I don't have a whole lot of blue on this side, but see, I've got blue over here. So maybe I'll try to find a blue sticker to put here. Because remember I said you kind of want to have it balanced on both sides. So I'm going to pull some blue over onto this side of my planner with my little blue to-do box. Ta-da! And maybe it doesn't make that much of a difference. I don't know, but that's just a little help that, or a little tip that I like to give out to you guys. Cause I get a lot of people asking how, you know, how do I do this? How do you plan out your color scheme and everything? Just have fun with it. Now I could leave this here, but since it says 2022 and I'm planning like it's not, I'm gonna cover that up. And I love this little panda that says plan and it's got some balloons. It's really teeny tiny. I'll just stick that up here. Why not? Okay. 
So after I lay down my sidebar, then I do the bottom part. And there's lines down here. You could journal, you could write stuff in, but I'm going to stick down some washi. And I think I'm gonna use the Slumber Party washi because it's my favorite. It's so cute. Here it is. Look how cute this washi is. And because it's got that rainbow gradient, it's gonna tie in all my colors together. So I'm gonna have to trim this because I don't wanna cover that up. So let me just stick it at the bottom and I need some scissors. Or maybe I can use the edge of my sticker book. Oh, look at that. Look at that, no scissors, straight line. Sometimes it can be done. <laughs> that was just luck, I'm telling you. That was literally luck. I don't know how that just happened. <laughs> um, okay, moving on. I need to find the other washi sticker. Here it is. And this one should fit just right. Oh, so cute. Okay, let me show you. So see how that just kind of ties it all together. So I've got some color blocking going on, but it's not too much. I've pulled in colors throughout. So now I've laid down everything and this is when I would go back in and write in my plans. So some stuff happens or like some stuff you can write in before the week begins. Some stuff I'll write in as I go, but I like to have a base like this with my stickers laid out. So I'm gonna be using some mild liner highlighters. You can get these at Michael's. Um, these are good for just like writing stuff down and then you can try to match your color and highlight it. I also have a permanent marker slash pen. Um, this is good for writing on the clear stickers, which there are some in here like these. And I love these. I should have used one. These like chores. That is so cute. But it's clear. So it's like a plastic. And you, you could either write in your planner and then stick that on top which might be hard to line up, or you could stick it down and then write on top of it with a permanent pen or marker. Um, or you could stick down like a paper sticker on top of that and write on it with your regular pen. Totally up to you. For writing on paper and paper stickers, I like to use a Papermate flare because it gives me a wide tip, which I think for whatever reason makes my writing look better. <laughs> so um, I'm not really gonna write in a, a bunch of fake plans, but I will kind of show you guys a little bit how I would do this. So I would just write in, you know, workout. And sometimes I'll just make it just like plain writing. It's nothing cute. But then I like to switch it up and make like do some fun lettering. So I thought it would be cool to show you guys how I do that um, because you don't need fancy pens or markers. You can totally just fake it. So if I was going to write like say on Tuesday, I needed to go shopping. <laughs> I need to go shopping, right? I'm going to do a little bit, a little bit of lettering here so I can show you guys. So I would kind of basically write it in, a, in cursive like I normally would. Okay, this may not look that great because I'm kind of shaking. <laughs> All right, and then to make it look like a faux calligraphy, uh, I would kind of thicken the parts of the letter where I'm writing down. So I just think in my head how I write this S and then I make it thicker where I'm writing downwards, if that makes any sense. 
I mean, there's tons of videos um, on YouTube and stuff to help you get better at faux calligraphy or hand lettering. Um, I just thought it would be fun to show you guys what I actually do in my planner because I like to make it cute, you know? It just helps. So that, that doesn't look that great, but let me show you <laughs> another uh, writing style that I like to do. So I was gonna make this my to-dos here. So I like to do a letter like that where it's thick, like a little box. So I would kind of make it wider and then go like that. And then it kind of just makes it look like I actually grabbed a fancy to-do sticker and put it there. And then when I go to actually write in my to-dos, I can just write it boring. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but I have some cute ways of writing in here to make it look more decorative and fun. So that's something that I really like to do. So let me show you like how I could make this my meals, my dinners for the week. So let's see, I wonder if I can write on that foil with a permanent pen. This might be a bad experiment to do, but um, I'm just gonna try it. Okay, that, that wrote, okay. It might come up, no, it's fine. That's cool. So see, I can use a permanent pen and write in my dinners. And then over here, I could do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then I can write in my dinners for the week. So that's, <clears throat> that's how I, I can make my own meal plan sticker. Now let's pretend that I've kind of written in my to-dos and appointments and stuff like that for the week. And it's, it's the end of the week. I wanna post a picture of my planner on Instagram, but I have all these blank spots in here and I want my planner to be cute. Okay, so just go to your deco stickers and sprinkle some of that in there. Like, let's see, I could totally, you know what? I love this, this sticker of Star of the Unicorn eating some pizza. And that's probably what we would be doing on the weekend anyway. So I'm gonna stick that here and fill up that space. And then suddenly it looks like I left that empty on purpose. And it, it was a plan that I had to make my planner look awesome. <laughs> and nobody, nobody will know that it was just some random sticker I stuck down just to fill up the space. I love this one that says slumber party. So let's see if I can find a spot for that. We have the space here. So I'm gonna stick that down. And remember I said you could totally do like a little talk bubble here. Um, I wanna do that. <laughs> so we have stickers on here that I could use. And I like this one that says, let's party. So I'm gonna make the panda be saying, let's party. So I'm just gonna stick that beside it. And yes, I covered up some of my checklist. That's okay. Like I said, there's no rules, who cares? Um, I'm gonna make this look like a little, I'm gonna try anyway. <laughs> I might mess it up. Okay, so I'm just going to draw parts of this box like that. Maybe I should finish it over here. Does that look bad? Y'all will be honest with me, won't you? <laughs> I mean, okay, so I think it's cute. Now, if this bothers you, you could totally peel this up. Like that's what is awesome about these stickers. They come up, look at that. Even though I stuck that on there minutes ago, it's totally fine. You might have to be careful, don't rip it off, but it will peel up and then you can fix it if you want. But I, th I think that's cute. So I'm gonna leave it. 
So that's basically how I would plan out my week. And I think filling out the pages with functional stickers in combination with decorative stuff like this is what is going to help you like use your planner, but also enjoy using it, if that makes any sense. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and maybe I should go and look and see uh, if we have any comments. So does anybody have any questions for me? I haven't been reading the chat. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Y'all are so sweet. Um, yeah, I just wanted to remind you these, the sticker books are uh, up in Michael's. Some stores may not have them yet. I don't know. Uh, it just depends. You could check online, but we have five sticker books. There are other shops that have sticker books as well. You could even try like combining ours with some of the other sticker books that you see there. I think that would be cool to see how they work together. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this plan with me. I hope I gave you some tips and feel free to reach out to us. If you have any questions, you can email us at shinestickerstudio at gmail.com. And don't forget the class will be available for a replay so you can watch it on Michael's YouTube. So if do we have any questions? No? Thanks so much. Oh, you're welcome, guys. Okay, well, uh, thanks for hanging out with me. And if you post any pictures of your planner, like if you planned along with me, which I hope some of you have, if you post any pictures, uh, make sure to do the hashtag make it with Michaels if you're using Michaels stickers and planners or whatever. And then you could also tag us uh, at Shine Sticker Studio on Instagram because I would love to see what you guys came up with. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.